Hello everybody, this will be a Bitcoin and Ethereum update on March the 24th. Right now I am on the 12 hour, twelve minute time frame. Um, I just drew a local golden pocket from the swing high up here, along with a possible swing failure pattern of a wick at around 43,500 down to the low. And you can guys can just keep on dragging this down as we make lower lows right here. Um, I am looking for supports at around 42,386. However, with the daily red dot printing and the two-day RSI split uh, pretty far apart, I expect this to be a little bit more of a pullback, so we might break through this golden pocket and then drop down to this golden pocket down here, which is at around 41,600 roughly. Just zooming out a little bit, going to a higher time frame, the one hour, we do get a sort of a, let me put my window over there, sort of a range from over here, which is a point of control in that golden pocket area. So just extra confluence to add to that. Also, if we do come way down, I expect us to come down to 39,000. 800 roughly this would be a pretty good long i would like to see possibly longs on just looking at the time frames on a two hour to four hours so it could probably turn out to be a swing trade if anything speaking of which we can still come down to thirty-five thousand five hundred roughly and still be in a bull market um maintaining this bullish structure, respecting this trend line. And so th that is just something to keep in mind of along the way too. We do have support at the 786 right here at around 36,625. We also have a wick at around 36,200 and a naked daily point of control and a daily based off of this trend line at around 3,500 again. Again, going to the higher time frames, I do expect us to see a little bit of a pullback. The six hour is has a green dot or a, a red dot that could print pretty soon. Daily, the VWAP is coming down. Money flow is coming up. So I don't think we're going to drop down to 35,000 really, but it will be a pretty decent pullback. The two day, however, um, makes me worry that we might drop down to 39k from what it seems seven day again money flow resetting this is very bullish uh again on the weekly money flow resetting our size look to be oversold um very bullish the two week again i'm still waiting for a green dot to play out I think once it does in the next four days or so, this is going to provide a pretty good pump. We might pump up to 46,000, to be honest. I'll go to my four hour time frames. And up here, we do have a bunch of resistance. Let me zoom in a little bit. At around 46,200, we do have a few major golden pockets. A 0.382 and a 0.5 acting as confluence at around 46,700 uh, roughly. So anywhere in between 46,200 to 46,700 will act as pretty strong resistance right now. Anyways, that's pretty much it with Bitcoin. Moving on to Ethereum. I am in an Ethereum short right now. Um, just going off the 12 minute time frame, we did have this massive bearish divergence forming with money flow coming down. Um, I expect us to come down pretty decently far, at least to 2,980. Um, again, like Bitcoin, I did draw a golden pocket from the swing high up here to the swing low. Just update that as we drop more. And so this could be a local resistance at around 30,555. Along up here, we do have a wick at 3,090 from this uh, wick up right here. 
Also, just as extra supports, we do have a golden pocket around 2,980, along with a previous week value area high. So that could act as um, decent support if we do end up losing that. We do have a support levels at around 2,900, as we have a golden pocket in a 382 acting as confluence along with a point of control from this little range right here. If we do end up coming down further, I expect 2,800 where we do have a golden pocket, the retest of the trend line that was acting as previous resistance. It did bounce off of this, but I do expect another bounce possibly. And so that is all kind of lining up at around 2,800. If we do end up losing that, we can come down to 2725. I I don't really see that happening, but you may never know if Bitcoin does end up breaking through that 39k level. That could be a possibility. And like Bitcoin, um, we can still come down to 2500 roughly and take out a bunch of naked daily point of controls along with a naked weekly point of control, a lot of liquidity down here. This could still maintain that bullish structure. Um, however, with the weekly and up timeframes looking pretty bullish, it might not really be probable, but you may never know with Ethereum how volatile it is. Right now, like Bitcoin, we do may get a red dot printing pretty soon which could lead to a minor pullback. On the two day, we do have that VWAP coming down our size split pretty far apart. Three day, uh, money flow is coming up, so I don't think it's gonna be too bearish or something we should really worry about. And um, that is pretty much it. Um, just going to the higher time frames Again, if we do break through the local resistances above, we could come up to 3,200. There is a bunch of liquidity, a uh, few daily resistances along with a naked daily, uh, two naked daily point of controls at around that range. Four hour, we could still come up to really 3,400 as there is a few dailies up here and a naked daily point of control along with some major FIB levels um all acting as confluence so really ethereum will just move however bitcoin wants to move and just kind of follow suit but that should be it today make sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already plus i'll leave a link to a free discord in the description where i post all my trades like this ethereum short i am in along with other traders posting their crypto related ideas thanks bye